this is a lesson on how to etch and center off cut so on this part I can't delete the tools because the tools were applied on the part level so first of all what I want to do is go to part and you can hit the grab button if you're coming from a project and then it'll bring in your part so I'm gonna go ahead and show you from scratch so I have my basic square right here if you're gonna do alphabets everything you do in text just make sure it has the right pen color and that it's realized in drawing for instance realized means that it's like exploded so I'm gonna click on realized in drawing and I'm gonna make etch I'm also gonna make it at pen 5 because that's the color that I chose for my etching then I'll put it here okay I'll make another letter without realize text and I'll put this at 1 and I'll put that right here then what I'll also do is close this I'll show you a slit line so if you want to do like a center off cut or open path cutting that's going to be like there so I have a slit line an edge and a text so if you go to profiling you have to make sure that your X, your pen 5 is set to etch. Sometimes I'll come in here and put it to my etch condition and then I'll go etch with cutter, center offset right there. Anything that's 5, it'll apply that. Okay? So there's my etching. For the other ones, I didn't apply any color. So what I want to do is going to give me an error on those two. Some features have not been tooled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply pen, let's say a random one, let's say 8. So with pen 8, if I double click it, I can say cut feature with center offset. That's anything that's open path cutting. And then I can tell it what cut condition I want to cut it with. So I'm just going to say cut condition 4. So that's pen 8. Okay. This one's not going to cut at all, even if I put it on a pen color, because I didn't assign, I didn't make it a realized drawing, which is exploded. So I'm going to go back to my drafting and how to change this one for now for pen 8. I'm going to click on this edit drawing, edit properties, edit common properties. I'm going to switch this to pen 8. Make sure that's checked. Highlight it, and you'll see the color change. Close. If you want to double check that, if you hit the information button and the feature and just click it, it'll actually say pen 8 right there. The next thing I want to do is if I try to delete this, notice that when it's realized they're all segmented, which is good. When I come and delete here, it's one giant block. That is not what I want to do for it to etch. So I'm going to have to convert that. So I'm going to go into realize the situation here and say it's an alphabet and then I'm just going to indicate feature to realize or drag a window so I'm just going to drag a window around that and now if I come and try to delete it you'll notice that it's all segmented now so the next thing I want to do is change that to the proper pen color so change this to 5 because that's my etching layer highlight that close and if you're not sure again feature click on it it says pen 5 so now I realize the text I changed the color to 8 for center off cut and I changed that and that left alone because I did that correct so if I go to my etching style again my pen 5 is set to uncheck it set to etch my pen 8 it's set to center off cut pen 4 or I'm sorry cut condition 4 pen 8 and hit apply and now you'll notice that everything is 4 and 5 okay if there's nothing set for your your pens then it automatically will go to your rules and styles so pens it'll use the pens features first if there's nothing set then it'll go into your rules and styles so based on the size of my part that's why I chose this cut condition because of the rules and styles the next thing you want to do is if it still gives you errors now that that's working fine, if you go to Part Profiling or Nest Profiling, go to Configure, Machine Configuration Editor, and if you go to Profiling, 
This is going to be the cut condition for your specific machine. This number can change. Usually it's 10 for an Amada, 5 for a Mazak, I believe it's 8 for a Mitsubishi and so on, 23 for an IPG. Um, so this got to be your cut condition for your actual machine. Under pens, you're going to want to click the numbers that you want it to ignore so it don't air out on you or give you some kind of warning. So usually the number is going to be your 5 if you're setting that's your etching. If you're setting a different color for etching, that's okay. You can set it to that number. I'm also going to set 8 because that's what I'm using for my center off cuts. So 0, 5, and 8, that's what I'm using. So I, don't, I want that to ignore it so it doesn't give me a warning. So I'm going to put that there. Another good tool is if you want the colors to match what your pen color is, then you can manually assign it. So if I want it to tool up with a blue color at 5, I can uncheck this and switch it to 5. And then I can also go to 8, uncheck this, switch it to 8, and hit OK. And notice you'll see the color there. This one didn't change to 8 because I'm actually telling it to use cut condition 4. But as you see now in my tools, it's going to use that color. Just depends on the background I have. So now if I go to my nest and I hit save, it's going to update that part for me. So I put that in ignore. I also have to put that in here, multi-part nesting. And I have to go into nesting options and I also have to add number 8 in there. So there's two areas you have to do pens to ignore. And then once you save it, you won't get that error information again. So that's how you do your etching and that's how you do your cut with center off set.